Hello everybody and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we will be supporting you to construct the Resilience Capacity Index using Excel. The Resilience Capacity Index measures a household's capacity to avoid stresses and shocks having long-lasting detrimental effects. Household level data are required for this calculation as the household is the unit within which the most important decisions to manage uncertain events are taken. There are different ways to collect these types of data. In this case, we are using the short REMA questionnaire. The short REMA questionnaire is a new tool developed by FAO to 1. Reduce the time for collecting household level data. 2. Reduce the time for conducting resilience analyses in order to provide updated policy and programming implications. And 3. Collect high frequency data for monitoring interventions or critical contexts. The short REMA questionnaire includes different modules, five of which are essential for the construction of the Resilience Capacity Index, which comprises four pillars and food security indicators. They are 1. Access to Basic Services ABS, 2. Assets AST, 3. Social Safety Nets SSN, 4. Adaptive Capacity, AC, and 5. Food Security, FS. The variables included in each module are the ones we will use later on in this video. The other modules, such as shocks and household demographic characteristics, include variables used in the Resilience Capacity Index post-estimation for ranking households and analysing the impact of shocks on the Resilience Capacity Index itself. We will get to them at the end of this video. Let me now show you what we're going to do. During this video tutorial, we will use two different Excel files, the master Excel file and the resilience Excel file. And we will take three different actions. First, add the Excel solver option to our Excel workbook. Second, copy and paste the variables we need for the calculation and third, work on the REMA solver. Through these three actions, we will obtain both the resilience pillars and the resilience capacity index. We will go through all of this step by step. Before starting to describe the master and resilience Excel files and work on them, we will install the solver add-in in Excel. This is the first and essential action in order to proceed with all the next ones. To install the solver add-in, we need to open the master file, go to File on the Excel ribbon and look for Options. Once in Options, click on Add-ins. A list of add-in options will now appear. Select Solver add-in and then go down to Manage at the bottom of the page. Select Excel add-ins and click Go and a dialog box will now open. From this dialog box, you can choose the add-in that you need or any combination of them. Select the Solver add-in and then click OK. Excel will install the add-in. You may now be wondering, OK, where is this add-in now located? Well, usually it appears on the Data Excel ribbon. To check if the tool is there, click on Data at the top of the Excel ribbon the ribbon is the top of the Excel sheet, and it can be found on the far right-hand side. There you go. Once the add-in is installed, and before proceeding with the next actions, we will briefly go through the master and resilience Excel files. The master Excel file is a simple example of what a household-level data set should look like. This video assumes that practitioners already have a master file properly constructed and organized according to the short REMA modules. If you need support on data cleaning and preparation, please don't hesitate to contact us at fao-rema at fao.org. As you can see, the workbook comprises two sheets. Sheet 1, data set, and sheet 2, household variables. Let's start with sheet 1, the data set. In this, Column A represents the household identification number, namely HHID, ascending order is recommended. A household identification number is the unique identifier for a household within a given data set. Column A, therefore, 
gives the list of all the households present in the dataset. Each of the following columns represents the information collected for each household, namely the variables. For example, here we have information about electricity, toilet facilities, distance, and all of the variables needed for the construction of the four pillars. Sheet 2 is called Household Variables and could include shock-related variables and variables on household demographic characteristics, such as the gender of the household head, the main livelihood of the household, the regions where the household is located, whether the household is part of a specific program, etc. In addition, if the questionnaire includes optional modules, such as subjective resilience and or conflict, their variables will be added to this sheet. The master file needs to be prepared in advance and must include variables that are already cleaned and ready to be used. If you need support on data cleaning and preparation, please don't hesitate to contact us at fao-rema at fao.org. Let's now open the Resilience Excel file. The resilience.xls file is composed of eight different sheets called ABS, Access to Basic Services, AST, Assets, SSN, Social Safety Nets, AC, Adaptive Capacity, FS, Food Security Indicators, Calculation, REMA, the core sheet where we will obtain the Resilience Capacity Index, and finally, Wrap Up. Each of the pillar sheets is organized as follows. Column A of each sheet is the column of the household identification number. From columns B to column K is where we will insert the variables to construct each pillar. Remember, you are not requested to fill in all the 10 columns. You must have at least three for each pillar. Columns L and M automatically create the pillar in question, namely ABS, AST, SSN and AC, and the rescaled version of it. The two columns will auto-compile once we insert the variables. The FS sheet is where we copy our food security indicator proxies. For example, food expenditure, FCS, HDDS. The REMA sheet will be auto-compiled once you have filled all the variables in the other sheets, and it is the sheet that will give us the resilience capacity index by household. It is a protected sheet where we are not required to take any action. The calculation sheet is where we are required to take the third action during this video. The wrap-up sheet is where the results of the variables we calculate will be stored to be used. Note that the file has been made for a maximum of 5,000 households and that the pillars and the resilience capacity index are the results of hidden calculations and formulae that are protected in each sheet. If you need a bigger file for more than 5,000 households or more details on the underlying calculations and formulae, please contact fao-rema at fao.org. Let's now move to the next step, which is the second action required by the process. This is the data entry process based on the copy and paste function. We start with the pillars, sheets ABS, AST, SSN, and AC. Copy the household identification number, HHID, from the master file sheet dataset and paste it in the resilience file sheet ABS column A. Don't worry about what is appearing in column L and M. It is the result of hidden calculations. If you check all the sheets of the workbook, you will notice that the household identification number appears in column A in each of all the other sheets. This is to avoid any mistakes in the copy and paste process. The cells are protected, so you cannot select them, change them, or copy them. Now, copy from the master file the variables you want to use to construct ABS and paste them in the resilience file starting from column B of the ABS sheet. For example, in this specific case, we copy from column B to column I. As previously mentioned, you can enter as many variables as you want for each pillar with a maximum of 10 variables. Remember, 
that for the pillar's construction, a minimum of three variables is required. ABS is constructed in column L, with the rescaled version in column M. These two columns are locked to avoid any kind of editing. If you now go to the Rima sheet, you see that column B has been automatically completed. Here too, the column is locked. We then repeat the same process for all the pillars. Copy from the master file the variables we want to use to construct the AST pillar and paste them in the resilience file starting from column B of the AST sheet. We need to do this for all the variables we want to include. AST is constructed in column L with the rescaled version in column M. Copy from the master file the variables we want to use to construct the SSN pillar and paste them in the resilience file starting from column B of the SSN sheet. SSN is constructed in column L with the rescaled version in column M. Copy from the master file the variables we want to use to construct the AC pillar and paste them in the resilience file starting from column B of the AC sheet. AC is constructed in column L with the rescaled version in column M. We need to now work with the Food Security Indicators FS sheet. Copy and paste from the master file the variables you intend to use as food security indicators into columns B, C and D of the FS sheet in the resilience file. If you have only two indicators, then leave column D empty. We are now done with the copy and paste process and we move to the next action. The third action required is to work with the calculation sheet. We have in front of us two numbers, one for the resilient solver number and one for the starting point. In order to have a correct resilience capacity index, we want the resilient solver number to be as close as possible to zero. To do this, we need to work on the starting point cell, which is already set at 0.5 as a default value. We use the solver add-in, which does this for us. Click the solver button on the Excel data ribbon, which displays the solver parameters dialog box. In the set objective edit box, we type or click on cell D2. In the To option, we click on the value of and write 0. In the By Changing Variable Cells edit box, we type D3 or select these cells with the mouse. Then click Solve. Don't worry, this might take a while before the result is finalised. When the Solver Results window appears, simply click on Keep Solver Solution and then click OK. We now see that the Resilient Solver is very close to zero. If we now go to the Rima sheet, we can see that the columns have been automatically filled and in columns R and S, the Resilience Index and the rescaled version of it are displayed. We also have the contribution of each pillar in the final RCI. At this point, we have all the information we need to carry out the analysis at different levels. If we go to the wrap-up sheet, we can copy and paste the pillars and the RCI in the household variable sheet of the master file in order to start our analysis. For example, let's see how to calculate the average RCI for male and female household heads. The Resilience Analysis and Policies team usually identifies the variable containing information about the sex of the household head using a dummy variable, taking a value of 1 if the headed household is female and 0 if the headed household is male. 
This variable is usually called fem head. Now let's go through the various steps. Copy column F, the rescaled version of RCI, from the wrap-up sheet of the resilience file. Go to the master file, choose an empty column, in our case column E, then right-click the button, choose Paste Special, Values option, and then click OK. Now select the column Fem Head, column C in our case, then click on the button Smallest to Largest, choose the Expand the Selection option, and then Sort. Once the column is sorted, you will see a list of zero corresponding to male household heads, and then a list of one corresponding to female household heads. To see the average RCI by gender of household head, you need to calculate two different averages, one corresponding to the female and one corresponding to the male. In our case, we stop in column F25 to calculate the average RCI of this category. So now, in F25, we write the average command and then select the observations of RCI corresponding to zero, and then press enter. We will end up with a value representing the average RCI for male-headed households. For female-headed households, we do exactly the same thing. Go to an empty cell, in our case F38, type the average command, select the observation corresponding to the one, then enter. We will end up with the average RCI value for female-headed households. So, once you calculate the RCI, you can do all the profiling, ranking and analysis that you want. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and that it will be of help in your work. For any problems and questions, please send us an email at fao-rema at fao.org.